to import a reference audio file, go to the video sequencer, go to add and click on sound. Then choose your audio file and on the right side you can set the volume of your audio file and display the waveform. To visualize my audio I made this tube thing, put an area modifier, count 100 on it. Now I hit I on the keyboard and keyframe the location. Then I select the X axis, click on key, click on bake sound to F curve and select my track. You will see that the tube is only moving back and forth in one position. For making the tube move in one direction continuously, make everything the same as the last time. But now we pay more attention to the settings on the right. Here you can set the lowest and highest frequency in which the audio gets analyzed. And also you can hit the additive button if you want a continuous motion. Now the tube moves in one continuous motion in one direction and gets faster when the audio gets louder. Now I'm repeating all steps with the rotation of the x-axis. But as you can see, the tube rotates way too fast. To fix this issue, select your axis and then click Unback Curve. Now we have all keyframes and we can select all of them with double hitting the A key and then hit G and Y and scale them down a bit. One last thing I want to show you is playing with the frequencies of your audio. I am here in the Geometry Notes tab of my project and if you want to recreate the effect you are seeing in the intro of this video, please go ahead and copy the settings of my Geometry Notes. You can see here. As usual, key the property you want to animate to the audio and then do the same as we did before. Hit the bake sound to F curve, but now play with the frequencies. In this case, I'm selecting a very low frequency to make the fear only move to the bass frequencies of my song. If you want to replicate the visualizer you saw in the intro, I am showing you now the different materials I used. But I will also do a more in-depth tutorial for audio visualization in the near future. If you don't want to miss it, please subscribe to my channel, put your questions in the comments below and also you can download the project file on my Patreon page.